Healing Art with Henry. Woohoo! Hi, welcome to another episode of Healing Art with Henry. Uh, I'm Henry, and we're going to do some healing art. So today, um, what I was thinking was I was going to pull a card out of the Radical Abundance deck, and uh, we're going to theme our show today on whatever I pull out. I'm just going to shuffle it. And this is a fresh deck, so they're, the new ones are a little sticky to get rolling. But I'm going to shuffle it a couple times and um, I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to pick one. So today we're going to do our episode based on this card right here. And the card today is opportunity. So we're going to do a painting about opportunity and we're going to talk about opportunity. When we're looking for opportunities for ourselves, it's important to keep a positive mindset. Like a positive mindset is the most important thing for seeing um, more possibilities. Negativity kind of closes us in. And when we're negative, we're not able to see as many options. But it's really okay to want. It's really okay to want things from life. It's really okay to want more. It's actually our um, biological imperative to want more from life. Um, our ancestors, our DNA that is gifted to us from our ancestors is loaded with the desire to want more. And that is a survival technique and that's um, that feeling is why we're actually here because our ancestors responded to wanting more and um, oftentimes that causes problems in the world and things like that but it's, it's, it is who we are and um, it's, it's inescapable. I remember the first time I was trying to get into a gallery in Seattle and I made up uh, a bunch of paintings and I think I made a dozen paintings, 10 or 12, and I photographed them and I got the, I got them developed and um, I put them in a little folder and I went around to galleries and tried to get a show and I just couldn't find anywhere to, um, couldn't find anywhere to get a show and it was taking me a long time and eventually I found a spot um, but finding that spot uh, and getting that opportunity to open up for me was um, and how that worked was I I kind of had to do like a meditation and I was kind of at the end of my tolerance for the day of going out and getting my hustle going and I sat in my vehicle and I closed my eyes and I just asked for help. And then I got out of my vehicle and was walking around Fremont and I found this gallery that was called the Orange Splot Gallery. And I went in there and showed them my artwork and 
I was kind of done looking, so I just left my folder with them with the artwork in it. And the next day, uh, Kevin, the gallery owner, hit me up and said, yeah, let's, uh, let's give you a show. And so for me, the opportunity came when I kind of quieted my mind and then asked for help. And then it just kind of opened up. So what are some of the opportunities that you've been given in life? And also what opportunities have you given other people? And how have those things changed you? So we create opportunities by one, gi giving, giving other people opportunities. And that creates more opportunities for ourselves because we create a community around ourselves by doing that. And when we have a community around us, they uh, return the favors in their own way. So um, we end up opening doors for ourselves by opening doors for others. And then uh, keeping a positive mindset, we're able to um, see more possibilities with a positive mind than a negative mind. So there's um, maybe 20 options at each turn rather than one or two. But a negative mindset makes you only think you only have, uh, it limits your ability to see possibilities. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just putting yourself into momentum, starting on an adventure and letting it unfold and staying open while you're on your adventure to your own feelings and your own needs and uh, communicating with people about those. And then things just kind of fall into place. So it shows this big fish surrounded by these little fish. That's kind of a symbol for opportunity because I feel like we're always looking when we want opportunities to happen in our lives and we want doors to open up, we often look towards uh, a fish bigger than us. And we hope that that bigger fish gives us the opportunity we want. And so that's kind of what this image is about. And for me, I find that instead of being one of these little fish, looking towards the big fish for the opportunities, there's always gonna be somebody that's a bigger fish than, where, than wherever you're at. No matter what level of success you achieve, there's going to be somebody in that in the pool that has uh, has more than you, and that you could seek out for your own gain for them to give you something. But what I've found in life is that instead of looking towards the big fish like these little fish are, to become the big fish and to give what you can and what you're capable of to others. And then things just naturally come to you. I 
Because what you do is you switch your energy. You become less desperate. And your focus is different. Your focus becomes the op being the opportunity giver. Now your focus is more based on what you can give to others. Things just come to you naturally. You don't have to seek them out. The doors just open because you're matching. your energy with other opportunity givers. You're becoming like them. And so becoming like them you become more relatable to them. And when you start surrounding yourself with other opportunity givers, you just get more opportunities. But that's kind of the, I found the best way to go about it. I think the most important thing to attracting opportunities in our life is gratitude. Being thankful for what we have. what we have and what we're, what we can do. And it takes a little bit of, um, a little bit of practice to get into the mindset of gratitude and make it part of like our daily lives. And also that, that focus takes the desperation out of us when we're focused on thinking about and considering the blessings that we have in our lives, the things that are good, um, other good things just come more easily. Another thing I like to do is expand upon opportunities. It's been a real key to my success as a career artist. I often, when I'm giving, given an opportunity, like, for example, uh, I painted Crystal Mountain Ski Lodge recently, and they hit me up and they wanted a mural in their lodge. Uh, they sell merchandise out of their store and they wanted a mural. And so I went up to look at what they wanted. And they wanted just a single little ball mural with a couple little little poppers and kind of tie it in with my merchandise up there. And I went up there and I just I saw the bigger opportunity. I saw the whole lodge being painted. And I kind of sprung the idea on them on the spot. And I went up there. I was like, you know what I think you should, you guys should do is have me do the whole thing. Let's do a full lodge paint job. And they said, okay. And I've been doing that with stuff my whole career. It's just seeing a little more that can be done to make something cooler. And I know that I'm capable of doing.
So in that example, instead of letting Crystal Mountain be the big fish, I became the big fish and I offered them an opportunity. And then I got one of the best mural spots in the state of Washington because of it. I was able to paint a full ski lodge. Opportunity is kind of like a feather falling from the air. And when we try to grasp it too harshly, if it's falling into my hand and I try to grab it, and the air from my hand pushes that feather away. If I can keep my hand just open. The feather will float down and land right on it. And if our mind and heart can be like that hand in that analogy, opportunities will just kind of fall into our lap a little bit easier. Well, thanks for joining me today on Healing Art with Henry. I really hope that you get the opportunities that you want out of life, and I hope you learn how to create them for yourself. And I hope that you're able to give opportunities to other people. And always think like the big fish and give as much as you can in this life. Woohoo!